Hi there, people. My name is Eric Wemple. I work with the folks at the Eric Wemple blog at the Washington Post. Reporting today from the Eric Wemple house uh, because I attended CPAC. A CPAC attendee has been quarantined after testing positive for the virus, and at least four Republican members of Congress who attended CPAC are in self-quarantine today. Out of abundance of caution, I was requested to remain at home this week to wait out the incubation period for coronavirus. But there's a CPAC angle um, to this whole thing that I started to report at CPAC itself. The, the press was, 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 was covering their, their hoax of the day because they thought it would bring down the president. The reason you're paying so, you're seeing so much attention to it today is that they think this is going to be what brings down the president. That's what this is all about. Said that the impeachment didn't quite work out, and so it was now time to hype coronavirus. Well, that seemed like an interesting um, sort of allegation. So I went around and asked some CPAC attendees, do you buy that? So they're going to damage Trump at any chance they can get with, with With his coverage of a virus, you think they would do yeah, that? Yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> Sorry. No question about it? <laughs> no question about it. You know, they skew the coverage of just about everything else for political purposes, so it wouldn't surprise me. Um, Have you seen an example of it or not? Uh, not with coronavirus. That's all he's been doing the last three years. If he does something, they don't like it. So. So do you think the media would even do it for a, a medical emergency or a, a possible pandemic? I wouldn't put anything past him. Sure they would. I mean, they've equated him with Adolf Hitler. Why wouldn't they try to do that? <laughs> Anything to get rid of uh, Donald, President Donald Trump, yes. So I went back to some of these people I'd spoken with at CPAC and re-interviewed them in light of the news that a CPAC attendee had tested positive and other headlines regarding the coronavirus. And they basically stuck to their guns. They stuck to their position about the president, about the coronavirus, and so on and so forth. And that sort of underlined a paradox about President Trump. Here is a president who has told thousands upon thousands of falsehoods and lies. And here's also a president whose people, whose followers, believe in him to an incredible degree. They're unwilling to shake their faith in the president's truthfulness. And concomitantly, they also distrust the media. So trust Trump completely and have a deep ingrained distrust of the media. It's that dynamic that gives the president basically some permissions to sugarcoat coronavirus, to talk about it in ways that help, he believes, help him politically and disregard the, the consequences. Well, this isn't Mueller, this isn't, Ukraine, this isn't impeachment, this isn't health care. This is a public health crisis. And people of all political ideologies deserve the chance to survive this particular crisis. It's about time we get the unvarnished truth from everyone in government, including the president. Meanwhile, I'd like to introduce you to Olive. Do so. So I'll just give you a look at her. All right.